Hello, hello everybody, welcome back. It's Krillik here, back in action on my own skyblock. Hope you guys are enjoying all the agrarian skies and everything else that's going on. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. So, um, what I have planned for today is, I'm starting on the villager stuff down over here. It's, it's coming along pretty good. It's a little slow. I got a nice little... Oh, well, that was a big old leg spike, and another one. Give me one second. Here. Alrighty, so here we are. I made a nice little uh, viewing platform here so that we can look down on the village, and I started a little bit on the staircase to the side. Um, I think I fixed that little leg dirt. I had to reload fraps. Um, so starting on that, it's coming along pretty good. But I want to get something better than Smite 4 here. And then we can uh, at least benefit a little bit more from our mushrooms and get more food. That's, that's kind of my one hiccup. So over here, I've prepared manilium. Manilium. Yeah. Whatever you call it. The purple stuff. <laughs> that's what I call it. Um, it's easily the most damaging for swords and whatnot so that's what we're looking to get now what i want to build is the rapier so that guy is a uh, small little handle thing tool rod and the sword blade uh, so the sword blade right there the uh, crossbar which is there and the tool rod so not very much in terms of cost. It's about two material total. And that should get us the rapier. I'm pretty sure it's the crossbar. I better go double check though. I could be mistaken. The patterns match up, but and it's been a these cats, man. I'm infested by ocelots. Okay, we'll do sixty-four. And bring out 64 of you. There we go. And I need my... Uh, not that one. What's it called? What is it called? The book. There. Materials. Materials in you, I think it is. No, it's the other one. The red one. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, so the tools is, the rapier, is the crossbar. Crossbar. Excellent. Okay, so we do have the right stuff. I'm going to go over to... Oh, they're so cute when they're little. <laughs> um, now, I'm definitely doing the sword blade out of the manilium over here. So we're definitely doing that. That is number one for sure. Okay, thank you. We can put that away. Um, now, the rest of it here, I'm not doing out of manilium. So I just need my ingot cast. I wanted to make an extra bar just, in, just because. Might need it down the road. Okay, there we go. Uh, let me grab the... Uh, next stuff that we want. We want paper. Yes, paper. Why not, right? The sword's only always gonna, already going to do a lot of damage at this point. Um, so I think I need a paper stack. Should just be the one. There we go. So that's going to be good. And then the tool rod, hmm, which, what do I want to make the tool rod out of? I'm thinking obsidian, but I don't know for sure here. And let me just double check. I need a good handle modifier. And I'm pretty sure that works for the tool as well. Now, if I'm not mistaken, manilium is still one of the best. Uh, you get the reinforced level with the obsidian. But I might just do it out of the manilium. 
I'm not too sure. Maybe Cobalt or Ardite? Ardite seems to be a pretty good one, too. Uh, no, no, not really. Stonebound. Okay, let me grab the materials, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, everybody, so I've decided uh, the two that I'm going to go with. Now, I'm still not sold on the handle, um, but I mean, we'll do what we'll do. So, I uh, just noticed that the crossbar pattern was not there, though. So, the crossbar is going to be paper. Paper crossbar. Excellent. What paper does is it gives you a bonus modifier. So, it gives you an extra modifier for anything that you may deem, you know, necessary, etc. So you get to boost it a little bit more. Uh, the tool rod, I'm going to go with cactus. Now this one's kind of a, a bit of a debate because um, I plan on putting an RF upgrade on it, which basically means that the tool... Um, is going to use energy instead of durability. Now what cactus is, when it's low on durability, it does more damage. I don't know if that's the case if you put an RF in it, but I guess we'll find out. So let's get the rapier and let's construct this bad boy. Just like so. Oh, beautiful. Four modifiers, starts out with a 2.5 attack. And we're going to call it the beaten stick. <laughs> Why not, right? Okay, and we're going to do that up. Alright, we'll throw that guy away for right now. Uh, the first thing that I want to put on this, for sure, is lapis. Lapis is going to apply looting to the weapon. Uh, so I'm going to do my work, go through all this upgrade, all that kind of stuff, and I'll show you the next step after that. Alrighty, everybody, so I've got a few ingredients in my inventory, and what we're going to make is we're going to make a flux capacitor. Okay, so basically, what this guy is, is a thermal expansion item that you can then use to upgrade on your tool. Um, what this does for you is it allows you, like I said, to use the energy instead of the actual tool's durability. Very handy stuff to do. And same thing, you just throw it in there, bam, you get your flux. So you'll see it changed it. It added like a little electrical thing to the uh, to the interface. Did it? Yeah, it did. Weird. Anyways, um, and from there we can charge it with RF power. So basically, um, we can just charge it up in an energetic whatchamacallit <laughs> I can't remember what it's called I gotta find it it's a thermal expansion there it is energetic infuser so this is gonna be the next thing that we build um, oops okay we need the redstone block one of you and the leadstone energy cell what There we go. Throw that in there. Now it's the energetic infuser. We need a machine frame. Pretty straightforward. Uh, we need these redstone transmission coils. Two of them. And one redstone reception coil. Just like that. And voila. Energetic infuser. Now this guy is very handy. Um, I just need to pipe it in somewhere. Where might that be? Let's see where we have power. Ready and waiting. Um, hmm. All of this is connected quite nicely. We could probably do it right above the AE system right here. So let's do that. Tree got in my way. There we go. And basically going to disable everything. And I can put my sword in there, and you'll see it's starting to charge up the RF, up to 400,000. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So, once it's done, it throws it over like that, 
and we have a looting three sword with basically full durability. It's very nice. Very wonderful indeed. I'm going to do a few more things. Um, I'm going to put some quartz on here and stuff, and I'll show you the final product, and maybe we'll test it out. Alrighty, so I've been building a way down here um, pretty much the whole time. I, you know, AFK a little bit. Uh, but this is what I've come up with so far. So we have our stairs down. We have our nice little thing here. Uh, I think this looks just great. Having the little micro blocks around the side just to make that feel complete is beautiful. Uh, we cruise on down to get a little bit of lighting. Uh, I wanted that to be lower so that you maintain a pretty good view of where the town and village is going to be. Um, then we got a little decorative back here. I think I'm going to change this out to a different color. I don't know which one yet, but and then a little bit more lighting. This is all half slabs, but I find lighting to add a very nice effect, even aesthetically. Um, all micro blocks hiding up the dirt, kind of making it seem like an actual fluid system. Um, I was thinking about actually moving the stairs out one at the top, but then it kind of blocks this off, and I kind of like that. And I just kind of did the same thing on the other side. Pretty straightforward. And then uh, down here is where I'm about to start building the village. Okay, so it gets dark. That's okay, though. So let's... Okay, I still got juice in the jetpack. That is very important. There we go. We'll start with one block. You build Rome in a day. <laughs> All right. You call me crazy, but this seems like the best idea to me. Clear glass floor for the village. Mm-hmm. How's that feel, walking over the void like that? Hmm? Hmm? Yeah, that feels great, doesn't it? Well, I'm going to do the entire village out of clear glass on the floor. You guys were wondering what I was making all that clear glass for? This is what it's for. So, I'm going to make basically a giant... Well, as much clear glass as I have, I actually need to do some more and I need to clean up the outsides as well but we are going to start up the village oh I'm kind of excited for this project it's a little design heavy uh, so I will be doing some design work on camera stuff like that I'll probably be derping up design work on camera which might be the more appropriate response um, but I'm looking forward to it and I hope you guys are too Okay, so I'll be back once I get more of this floor laid out. Alrighty, folks, so I've done a little bit of updating. Um, now, do you guys think that this is going to be massive? Because it is. This is going to be the home of our village. It barely fits in the one screen like so. Uh, so it's about 99 in diameter, so it's all odd numbers. We should be A-OK -okay there. We need to, of course, ensure boundary for the villagers and whatnot. But this is going to require a lot of clear glass. I've enabled my clear glass production to start up again. And we're starting to fill it in a little bit. And it is brilliant. This is all going to be one giant solid glass floor. As you see right now uh, it's it's a big project don't get me wrong it's not that hard though I have built harder I built a glass dome sphere 100 by 100 in vanilla so there <laughs> nothing's harder than that okay so I'm gonna be farming just a ton of clear glass I hope you guys understand why this video was a little bit shorter. I'm going to be working on this uh, for quite some time, getting it done. We should have great viewpoint from up here. That is looking pretty awesome. Look at it on the map. It's larger than the rest of my land. 
You can tell that we're definitely getting into the part that is basically design and fun. Uh, there's still more mods that we can do. Don't get me wrong. But, oh, dang. hate it when I do that. I should just grab it from the barrel. I don't know why I'm grabbing it from in here, but that's okay. Um, so lots to be done, lots going on. I might add a few more basins to increase the draining of the tinkers here. And I've set up a temporary hopper just to get things going. But I might put some drains on the backside just to speed things up again. Pig. How? How Minecraft? Anyways, folks... Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys like it. Uh, hopefully by next episode I'll have that entire floor done. And we can maybe start on some actual uh, town village. Uh, whatchamacallit. You know what I'm talking about, right? Town village whatchamacallit. Come on. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Houses. Uh, sorry, it's a little late. <laughs> I'm still tired from that all-nighter that I pulled streaming. Um, by the way, if you guys didn't see that, I highly recommend jumping over and checking that out on my Twitch. There's like easily nine hours worth of footage. So hop on over there and thanks for watching. Slap that like button, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. Bye bye for now.